Pluto. So, so um, why Pluto matters? Uh, remind me again why Pluto matters. It doesn't. Oh. So why? All I was minding my own business until we made a decision in the year 2000 to reorganize our newly conceived exhibits of the solar system. And we reorganized it in a way to include Pluto with other recently discovered icy small cockeyed orbited objects in the outer solar system. That's really all we did. We didn't say the solar system only now has eight planets. We never said that. There's not a count of planets enumerated in the facility. Now, all we did was say, Pluto, let's group it with these other folks, this Kuiper Belt icy objects that have just been recently discovered. Back then, it was recent was the middle 1990s. And so went for a year without much outcry until the New York Times broke a page one story on that decision. And it said, Pluto not a planet, only in New York. And then that's when the hate mail just started rolling in, rolling in. And I realized that this hit a raw nerve within people. And the Pluto Files is an attempt to understand why. And what did you understand from looking at that mail? Oh, it's all because of Disney's dog. I'm certain of it. Uh, Mickey's dog, Pluto. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> Nothing to do with astronomy. If, if, so, if someone said they want to demote Neptune, do you think people would care? Do you think anyone would give it any attention at all? No. They say, oh, fine. I guess the scientists need to do it. Fine. Pluto? They learned about Pluto as kids. Pluto was the ninth planet. It's the littlest planet. And you learn about Pluto around the same time in life where you're watching cartoons and you're learning about Mickey's dog Pluto. And the dog and the cosmic object of the same name were discovered. Were, the cosmic object was discovered in 1930. The dog with the same name was first sketched in 1930. So they have the same tenure in the hearts and minds of Americans. I polled Europeans and others from other continents about their concern over the demotion of Pluto. They just didn't, they, they didn't care. They were intrigued by it, curious as to why. I mean, nobody lost sleep. No, no one was driven to write editorials on it. It all happened in America. And I thought maybe it was because Pluto was discovered by an American. Maybe we just have a little bit of jingoistic attitude right. towards it. Right. Then I asked P Clyde Tombaugh in the 1930s, and I asked him, do you, do you know who discovered Pluto? No. Do you know what nationality is of the person who discovered Pluto? No. Nine out of 10 people who felt strongly about Pluto did not know that an, an American had discovered it. So that couldn't be the reason. So I just blamed Disney. It's that simple, see? <laughs> what they said, though, was but, but that... In all, in all fairness to the book, the book is a celebration of the public's reaction to this scientific debate. And so there are op-eds in there, and I got per extensive permissions to reproduce comic strips, and, and so it's... And, and there's some songs in there There's as well. some songs inspired by the Pluto plight. So it's really a celebration. And in the end, I saved my pontificating for the very end. The rest of it... I think there's a lot to learn about the Pluto story. There. Did attendance at the Hayden Planetarium go up or down afterwards? Uh, the attendance at the Hayden Planetarium was at its highest right when we opened our doors, doors of the new facility in 2000. Then it sort of tails off and then it sort of levels. Actually, we took a hit, as did everybody else, in the fall of 2001 because of the uh, terrorist attacks in New York. So once we climbed back out of that, uh, we had high numbers, but I wouldn't credit it entirely to Pluto. We had other exhibits that might have attracted people. You have a large public audience there. You yeah, have... and so we did this to Pluto, and we got raked over the coals by the New York Times. I started getting hate mail, and about six years later, exactly six years later, the international community of astrophysicists voted to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet. And so the whole rest of the world sort of caught up with our decision, but it took about six years. And thenceforth, the focus of ire on our decision was diffused by the fact that now the entire community of astrophysicists was the right. object of ire. Of right, anything. and I, I got the impression from this, this Why Pluto Matters chapter in Unscientific America that there was some sense that there was a, an arrogance and disdain on the part of the scientific community which was representative of the disconnect at the science and society level between the practitioners and the recipients, that sort of handing down wisdom kind of... Well, I, I can't comment on what their interpretations are. I can tell you that um, there was a lot of talk about 
the fact that the astronomers should listen to the public about how we might classify our cosmic object. And I thought that that was, that's not how science proceeds. You don't, you don't go to the medical doctors and find them polling the public to find out what they should call their next medicine or what their next discovery is under the microscope. No other science subjects themselves to public participation in how they're going to classify the frontier of their research. So, the, so astrophysicists should be under no obligation to poll the public. I don't care how deeply affectionate you felt for these objects that, that we had talked about. Now that's not arrogance, that's just simple common sense about what it is to move a frontier and the sensitivities you need on that frontier to classify or not. Now, what I was entertained by is, if scientists can't agree, it's kind of fun to get public to then weigh in on it, which is kind of what happened here. Mm. Just to see maybe there is someone who has some insights, because clearly the scientists you know, are not agreeing, so why not look somewhere else to find out who can help out? And I don't have a problem with that, but not as a matter of policy. You do that because it's a fun diversion, not because it's, okay, now it's time to get the public to help us. No other science does that. You wouldn't want another science to do that. It's not how it works.